State lawmakers move to get rid of three mask orders in Utah. The resolution passed one hurdle today on the very first day of the legislative session. New specialist Lad Egan joined us from the Capitol with more. Lad? This resolution was changed this afternoon to target three mask mandates, the one for Salt Lake City schools, Salt Lake County, and Summit County. It passed the Senate with a vote of 22 to 5, and it now heads to the House. People do not like it when we make decisions for them. They just don't. Republican senators supporting the resolution to terminate mask orders said wearing a mask should be a personal decision. Utahns should be free to wear a mask or get a vaccine or stay home. But the government should not be mandating or dictating what businesses should be enforcing, especially when it comes to personal health decisions. If you want to wear a mask and that is in your best interest, you're absolutely free to do so. But we need to end the divisiveness that this is causing. Democrats voting against the resolution said that the legislature should leave mask mandates up to local control. If you believe in local control, the county has decided that this is in their best interest. Kind of annoys me, to be honest with you, that we're wasting time in this debate when it's set to expire automatically and we have skyrocketing cases. In response, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall called this retribution type politics and an unfortunate start to the session. This is not a time for more politics to infect the well-being of the public. And Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson said state lawmakers are changing the playbook at a critical time. We followed the rules and did exactly as was intended by the law. And uh, it's unfortunate they're moving the goalposts today. Again, this resolution to terminate the mask orders passed the Senate, but it still needs to be considered by the House of Representatives to become law. That vote could come as soon as tomorrow.